Good day, welcome to our very short video explanation of how to handle a problematic bob sweep. In particular, we've got this bob sweep pet hair unit that's uh, two years old and it's just not very strong. And when I say not very strong, it's not sucking up like it used to and it only runs now for about 20 minutes before it packs it in. So let's go over what you can do about that as opposed to replacing it like a lot of people would do. The first thing to do is to clean out your tray. So you can take a screwdriver and just pull this screw out over here, lift it out, get rid of all of the fuzz. Second thing to do, which is pretty obvious, is to make sure that your filters are clean. If they're not, that's not gonna help suction. But in our case, I believe the problem to be much more power oriented. I think it just doesn't have the power. So I went and I ordered a new battery. Um, and uh, this kit came in this box, which had this, which I've just opened. I haven't actually pulled out. Let's see what's in it. I'm assuming it's the battery. Yeah, okay. So it's, there's nothing else in there. No, nothing else in there. And then there's the battery. Yeah, stand, and it also came with this uh, handy little uh, screwdriver, which is uh, kind of pointless for me because I've got a million, but whatever. And it's also got this USB cable, which I'm not quite sure what to do with. And the package I ordered doesn't come with any instructions at all. So I'm not sure what that USB cable is for, but it is what it is. I've got it. So, okay, let's uh, get to changing the battery. This is a horrible screwdriver. I would much prefer to use my own. There we go, two screws. You'll be done this in just a couple minutes. There it is, pop it out, pop the cover off. And there is the battery. And you think, well, how do I get it out? Well, not very hard. <laughs> Just lift it out and disconnect. There it is. Okay, so there are two little bumps. And so you, I guess, do want to either pry this up a bit or sort of push in on these or just really muscle it. That's probably your best example. Just pull it straight out. Take your new battery and guess what you do with the new battery, boys and girls? That's correct. You plug it in. Rocket science, I know. There it is, snaps in. Tuck the new unit in. Tuck the cable in so that it doesn't get pinched. Easiest way to do that is to push down on one end and put it in on an angle. Uh, then, of course, put the door back on. And uh, while you're here, after you've got the screws put back in, you might want to clean off the uh, sensors, which are these four little sensors that are around there. If they're covered in dust, that's not helping. And uh, one other thing you can do uh, quickly, without really any work at all, is you can pull you can pop this right out. Yeah, see, I've got a bunch of stuff here. That's just fuzz. And that is not helping this thing move around. Let's see if I can pop it out with the crappy screwdriver they gave me. Yep, there we go. So I can just pop it out, as I said, and then get rid of all of this fuzz. Pop that back in. There, it's fixed, and it rolls around smoother now. And uh, the same thing again for, for this bar, right, the beater brush. You want to make sure it's as clean as you can get, so get some scissors, cut this hair, pull it off, and hopefully you have a proper screwdriver to do this, but if you don't, you can use a quarter, uh, or you can even use a crappy for uh, knife. Don't use a fork, that wouldn't work very well. But there we go, and I'm doing this just to show you that you can do it with a knife. Okay, and this is not rocket science. You don't have to be an engineer, you don't have to be a tech. Just pull the bar out, clean off as much of the crud as you can. And yes, there will be crud. Uh, also, in this channel, right here, there's crud. So you want to blow it out. You also want to make sure it goes up and down smoothly. Okay, and see that crap in there? You got to get rid of that. Well, you want to get rid of it. You have to. But uh, yeah, get it. I use typically a sharper knife and fish the things out of there. And I do that about every month or so. Well, that's not true. I do it every couple of months whenever it seems to get clogged up. There we go. And there's the beater bar. I'm just gonna cut this hair. There we go. And then just unwind it. 
get it off because it isn't helping. Fun fact about hair and off chance you're not aware, hair goes in organics if you are so inclined to recycle. And you have organic recycling where you live, which I do in Calgary, Alberta. Okay, so now we just take this beater bar, put it back in there, take the end cap, pop it on, slide it down, make sure it moves up and down smoothly. If it doesn't, well, you're gonna have a problem. So make sure you clean it out. And uh, you can screw this in with your fingers initially, but you're gonna wanna use, for God's sakes, please use a screwdriver. But if you don't have one, I'm showing you this just so you can show that it does work. Um, and of course, the little sweeper is also replaceable. The battery, the sweeper, the beater bar, and even the electric motor are replaceable off the Bob Sweep website. By the way, no, Bob Sweep has not paid for this. And this battery did not come from them. I found it on AliExpress. Well, this is the factory one, so that's, okay, in fairness, this actually did come from Bob Sweep. The one I just put in did not. And I still have no idea why they shipped me this little USB cable. Also, be sure to recycle this battery properly. Don't throw it in the garbage. It goes within goes in with the electronics recycling. If you don't know where that is in your area, take it to a Staples or an Office Depot or your local computer shop. They'll take, most of these places will take these back. In my case, I'm gonna take it into my office because my office is, a, is in a gold certified, gold lead certified building and they take the stuff back. Yeah, don't put this into the landfill. Really not a good idea. I'm gonna return this to its charging station. Charge it up. And if the video ends here, well, then there were no problems. If the video doesn't end here, then there was some issues. Hey, if you found this useful, please click like. It really helps with the Google algorithms. Also, subscribe is really appreciated. We do a lot of these types of things on this channel. If you have a question or comment, just put it in the comment section below. We'll get back to you or somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.